the topic of uh, today's discussion is uh, how do we interface uh, keypad with arduino uh, this is exactly not a sensor this is a peripheral device so this particular keypad has uh, four rows and four columns so this is uh, row one row two row three and row four and we have four columns so this is my column one column two column three and column four so this matrix uh, keypad we also call it as uh, four cross four keypad. So a keypad is a peripheral device which we use in uh, many applications. Ticketing machine is a portable uh, machine where the conductor of the bus enters manually the ticket amount by using a keypad. Uh, you can take uh, automated teller machines, ATM machines, where you enter all your uh, pin details, amount to be uh, withdrawn, etc. Uh, you can also give examples like uh, security systems, or authentication systems <clears throat> so if i wanted to enter a secure place or I, I enter a password and then i enter so in all applications where you get uh, data from user we connect this uh, keypad okay so you have to understand clearly the difference between keyboard versus keypad okay keyboard is a big uh, device with 100 plus keys that is normally connected to any general purpose machine so this is not in intended for embedded applications so the this is uh, meant for general purpose computers laptops so on and so forth uh keypads on the other hand is uh, used in products or in simple term embedded applications okay so the physical size of this fellow is extremely large whereas the size of this is uh, extremely compact and small uh, that enables uh, this keypad to be safely positioned in any electronic product and then use it in a compact form right so you have to clearly understand what is the difference between keyboard versus keypad so what i have uh, shown here are the various uh, keypad types so the one that is available in your left is called a telephone uh, keypad so this has uh, you know four rows one two three four and three columns one two one. so this is uh, four cross three what you are seeing on the middle one is called a feather touch keypad. Feather touch keypads are extremely slim. So this one has four column, four rows, one, two, three, four. So this is row one, row two, row three, and row four. And you have four columns, C1, C2, C3, C4. So this is called a four cross four keypad, okay? What you are seeing on the right is a feather touch keypad again. This is similar to this uh, feather touch keypad, but the difference is it has four rows and only three columns C1, C2, C3. So, totally you have four cross three, 12 keys here. So, this is a four cross three keypad. All right. So, let us understand the internal composition of keypad and see how it works before we interface that with Arduino. What you see in the uh, left is what you see uh, physically. So, this is the front view of your keypad. So when you buy this keypad from a shop, this is how it would look like. If you see the internals of this keypad, okay, if you peel off this front, uh, you know, sheet and then see inside, typically it has, you know, uh, switches arranged in rows and columns. So this keypad essentially has 16 keys or 16 switches. We have already discussed how this push button works, a push button switch works. So you have 16 push button switches arranged in a matrix. Uh, if you peel off this front uh, sheet and see inside, this is how this keypad would look like. And if you replace each switch by its equivalent circuit, a uh, simple push button, this is how it would look like. You have four columns, C1, C2, C3, C4, and you have four rows. Each switch essentially connects between that particular column and this row. In fact, if you see switch one, it connects column one and row one, which means if I press that button, Whatever the information that is available in column one is communicated to row one. Similarly, switch two short circuits, column two and row one. So this is one row. So switch one, two, three and uh, A, all these switches I'm talking about, these four switches. These four switches essentially are connected to row one, but with four different columns, C1, C2, C3 and C4. If you take the second row, 4, 5, 6 and B, they are essentially connected with column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, but all of them are connected to row 2. So similarly, all the other keys. So you have totally 8 wires necessary for 
dealing your keypad four column wires so we require four pins for controlling your column pins and we require four more pins for dealing the rows so totally we need to have four plus four totally eight pins from arduino if you want to uh, use keypad four pins we use for rows and four pins you use for columns this is for four cross four keypad if you are using uh, four cross three then you require four pins for uh, rows and three pins for column so you can save one pin uh, if you are using a four cross three keypad but then at the expense of four keys instead of 16 keys you will end up in having only 12. so this is how a keypad would look like now let us understand uh, how this keypad works okay so a keypad is a combined effect of 16 keys okay so if you see this uh, keypad right now we have something called keypad scanning algorithm what is keypad scanning algorithm how the microcontroller or arduino uh, sends which of the 16 keys pressed okay so that is the logic so uh, the algorithm that is used for detecting which of these 16 keys is pressed is called keypad scanning algorithm or keypad scanning technique so the method is anyway we are going to connect this uh, keypad with our arduino so i am assuming that this is my arduino so we spare four pins of arduino for four columns so this is connected to column one all of them are output pins this is connected to column two this is connected to column three and this is connected to column four all the columns are outputs as far as arduino is concerned output means their right values and all the rows on the other hand act as input for arduino so this row supplies data back to arduino this row two supplies back to arduino similarly this row three supplies data back to arduino this row four also supplies data back to so all these four act as inputs so what is this keypad scanning work, uh, logic this keypad lo uh, scanning logic works this way pay attention first this arduino what it does it writes a value of one for this fellow and all the other pins as zeros and zeros and zeros so first column is made one and second column third column and fourth column are all made zeros okay when the first column is made one then you can see that literally all these entire uh, lines is carrying a value of one so this entire line this entire column is going to have a value of one so what are the keys that are connected with this column one four seven and e are the four uh, keys that are connected with uh, this column i mean this column one four seven and e in this case it is star so depending upon the type now once you put a one in this column then you have to read so write a one to column one so once you write it uh, one to column one subsequently you have to read four values what are the four reads read row one first i read row one if row one is equal to a one if row one is equal to a one that means what switch one is pressed if row one is equal to one that means number key one is pressed else suppose if it is how that value will be a one if number key one is pressed suppose if i press this key you can see that this value is already one so the same value will be communicated back to row one so this key short circuited column one is already one because i made it purposefully one suppose if somebody has pressed this button what it means is the same one is communicated back to row one so i am just checking for whether r1 is equal to a one if r1 is equal to one it means the first key is pressed this key is pressed else else means what if this is not equal to one then we have to read r2 read r and check whether that is equal to one if that is equal to one then you can identify that number key four is pressed if that is not one then you go to third row read r3 and check for one if that is equal to one then seven keys finally you read r4 and check whether it is equal to one if that is equal to one then what are the key that you are having you know this key can be mapped depending upon your choice but i am just referring it as a star so for making the first column one we do all the four reads okay suppose if none of the four keys are giving you a value of one which means no key is pressed in this column then we have to check for the second column then what i do i go to step two write a one to column two 
when I write a 1 to column 2, this has to be made 0 again, this has to be made 1. That means this line goes high, all the other lines go low. Now this line is alone 1, this fellow goes to 0. So when you write a column, only one column should be high, all the other columns should be low. That is the logic. So once you make uh, column 2 high, again you have to read all the 4 rows in a cyclic manner. So again read R1, R2, R3 or R4. Suppose if R1 is a 1, in this case switch 2 is pressed. If R2 is a 1, switch 5 is pressed. If R3 is a 1, switch 8 is pressed. If R4 is a 1, this key is. Third stage is make column 3 as a 1. This fellow you make it as a 1. And again read all the 4 rows. Finally you make this fellow as a 1 and again read all. So by making one column at a time, we are cyclically reading all the 4 values and checking whether that particular value is a 1 or a 0. So this is called keypad scanning. So you, we do this repeatedly again and again over and over in order to figure out which key is pressed. Okay, so we can either do this manually, you know, or you can take the help of a header file which do the job for you. This header file will make your life easier because this keypad.h is already a built-in library file available in Arduino which we can take and use it, which exactly do this scanning for you. This keypad scanning, whatever I have discussed. So with one simple function, like uh, keypad.get key, you can exactly figure out which key ha the user has pressed and you can do the application as you like. So that's pretty simple. But what is the underlying algorithm that is uh, done by keypad.h you have to understand. That is what I have explained. Now let us see how to interface this fellow with Arduino. Interfacing an Arduino with keypad requires 8 keys, uh, sorry 8 pins, 4 pins for 4 rows and 4 more pins for 4 columns. So when you are going, uh, buying a you know uh, keypad from the market, so it will be having eight pins. All the eight pins will be arranged in this format: row one, row two, row three, row four. First four pins, pin number one, two, three, and four. And the next four pins are column one, column two, column three, and column four. This is pin number five, six, seven, and eight. So this is how this uh, eight pins will be. Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, C1, C2, C3, and C. So it is a matter of connecting 8 pins of this fellow with this. So let me start. Uh, this transmit and receive we use for UART, so let us not disturb that. Let me start with pin number 2. So I connect pin number 2 to row 1, pin number 3 to row 2, pin number 4 for row 3, and pin number 5 for row. This completes my 4 rows, and all of them are acting as inputs. And uh, we use uh, this one for C1, pin number 7 for C2, pin number 8 for uh, C3, and pin number 9 for C4. This one would act as outputs. This is columns and uh, this is rows. So totally giving you 8 pins. Okay. So pretty simple and straightforward. There is nothing technically complex here. Uh, okay. So as usual, I, as I told you, for keypad scanning, we use the, the uh, internal uh, library file, keypad.h. And um, you have an object uh, data type keypad. And I use a variable called my keypad and initialize that with a constructor, which requires 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 parameters. So keypad is a data type. My keypad is a variable of type keypad. I initialize that with a constructor which takes five parameters. What are they? First one is an array. What kind of array? Make key map means how are you going to map these 16 keys is that function. So make keypad is a function that requires a two dimensional array as a parameter. So you need to create a 2D array here, two dimensional array. So that is the first parameter. Second parameter is a one dimensional array. 1D array which tells you which pins are used as rows, which pins are used as rows. Third one is again a one-dimensional array, it is an 1D array and it tells you which pins are, are used as columns. Fourth and fifth parameter tells you how many rows and how many columns are there in your keypad. Uh, this is number of rows which is uh, four in this case and uh, the fifth one is of course the number of columns which is five which is again four. So we have four rows and four columns. So these are the five parameters that we have to pass in order to initialize this uh, variable of type keypad. So we call this make key map. Make key map is a function that requires a two-dimensional array. This is not array. 
the parameter that we pass for this is an array which is a two dimensional array make key map is a function that requires a two dimensional array in order to <coughs> map all the keys of the 16 keys the second one is a one dimensional array in which you have to tell which pins are used for rows third one is a one dimensional array which you have to tell which pins are used as columns the fourth parameter is number of rows and fifth parameter is number of columns so once you initialize that it is a matter of uh, you know using only one function my pa my keypad dot get key get key function will return which key is pressed okay and take a keypad so this is the keypad one two three a four five six b seven eight nine c star zero hash and a d so these are the characters available and uh, if you see the number of pins first one is row one row two row three row four c1 c2 c3 and c4 so totally eight pins we need to connect this to eight pins of arduino i am not rotating arduino because it is more easy if you connect directly like this so so let me zoom this and align this like this so let me start with column four column four is going to two i am not disturbing transmit and receive because we need uart for our application so this is column uh, three this is column two this is column one so four rows four columns i connect so let me first dis declare this uh, byte byte is a data type just like your integer which requires only one byte or eight bits so uh, byte uh, what is the array columns or call pins so this is an array with four bytes how do we initialize an array open brace and close brace so column one column two column three and column four column 1 is connected to pin 5 column 2 is connected to pin 4 pn2 so this is an one dimensional array of type byte byte is a new data type, data type that i am introducing you today which will accommodate one one byte similar to integer integer take two bytes whereas a byte takes only one byte okay. so that is column pins now let us connect the rows row 4 goes to pin 6 let me change the color row 3 go to in 7 row 2 go to in 8 and row 1 go to pin 9 so this four rows row 1 is 9 row 2 is 8 row 3 is 7 i'm just connecting in the descending order so that it is easy for me to make connections otherwise this would be pretty awkward okay so this is pretty easy for me to connect so whereas we can control them in the software so that uh, row pins are you form that is again a byte array, byte, row pins, which is uh, having four elements in the array. So how do we initialize the uh, uh, array? Row 1. Row 1 is connected to 9. Row 2 is connected to 8. Row 3 is connected to 7. And row 4 is connected to 6. So we have uh, column pins and row pins. So out of these five uh, parameters, row pins and column pins array we have formed. Rows and columns is a constant value 4 and 4, so we don't worry about this. We have to make a two dimensional array for keys. So that is what we use for creating a key map. So keys is a, a two dimensional array. What is the data type? Character. Okay, so character, character, keys. This is a two, two dimensional array of type 4 cross 4. How do we initialize a two dimensional array? How do we initialize this uh, one dimensional array? We comma separate something, say, a comma b comma c comma d so this is how we represent one dimensional array. in a two dimensional array each one itself is an array okay an array inside array so this is again a one dimensional array this is another one dimensional array this is another one dimensional array this is another one dimensional array. so we have four one dimensional arrays within this one dimensional array so this is called array inside array so each one dimensional array has four elements so let us assign the values for those four elements by seeing our key. So first row has uh, 1, 2, 3 and A. So this is character 1. Character is represented by single of first row. So 1, 2, 3, A. So this is 2. This has to be comma separated in the first array. So 1, 2, 3 and capital A. So this is my first array. Maybe you can uh, press a key here and then uh, write it row wise so that it is easy for you to understand. So open brace. So this is my first row, comma, second row. What is my second row? 
four five six b so this is uh, four comma five comma six comma capital b so this is my second row third row is uh, seven eight nine c seven comma eight comma nine comma capital c the last row is star zero hash star zero hash in the capital d so we don't have to put a comma here because that is where our array ends so you can imagine this as a simple one dimensional array so we have open one dimensional array open and close the brace terminated with the semicolon within that one dimensional array we have four more arrays each array is comma separated inside so this is called a two dimensional array of size four cross okay so this is uh, a character array because we are initializing 16 characters inside this key is a two dimensional array this array we have to pass as a parameter uh, for our uh, function which function i am talking about you no know, uh, initializing this uh, my key pad variable so make key make key map is the function for that function we need to pass this uh, 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 row pins column pins and all those things. maybe i would uh, copy this uh, so key pad dot h so i have one array for uh, column pins one array for row pins one array for keys that is two dimensional array now it's time for me to initialize the keypad variable. Keypad, my keypad is initialized with keypad of make key map keys. This is easier for your understanding. There is no need for putting any brace. Row pins is a single dimensional array. Column pins is again a single dimensional array. Number of rows and columns you can put four and four because we are not going to uh, change that. So it's a constant. So that is that is how we initialize this keypad variable. And as usual, it comes your uh, Void setup, void loop. So in the setup function, what I do, I want to observe what is coming in the keypad. So I begin the serial port, serial dot begin, The loop function, uh, I read the value of uh, character my key is equal to serial. My key is equal to uh, my keypad dot get key. That is this function I am talking. About, get key function. This my keypad dot get key function will return you uh, the key pressed by the user. It performs that keypad scanning and it will return you. I am assigning that to a variable called my key. So what you do, uh, you assign that uh, uh, my key to uh, to serial port. So uh, serial dot print line. Uh, this all it is. So let us copy this. Let's go to the code. This keypad.h you can include if you are not sure of by going to the library here and then click keypad. So it will automatically include the keypad library. So we have one array for column pins, we have one array for row pins, we have one two dimensional array for keys, and we have the uh, keypad variable of type keypad. And then we initialize that with uh, five parameters. And then we just get the key and push that in the uh, serial window. So that's what I do uh get key key is capital but of changing this one i change that and get key k k is capital okay so now let us go to the keypad and uh, so it is continuously sending data uh, are you able to see that uh, whenever i am pressing this key it is sending the commands but it is also sending some unnecessary things so let us uh, change the condition like this uh, if my key is available in a uh, in a keypad page, that means the user has not pressed any key. So if my key is stop sending an unwanted character. So one, two, so let's clear this. One, two, three, A, five, four, five, six, B, seven, eight, nine, C star zero hash and d one two three a five c c hash zero nine c is that uh, okay for you all